And here we are over the rooftops of Berlin with the one, the only, the amazing Ella Lee! Young Hannah Kahnwald from Dark. So how did you get your role in this amazing hit series? Well, first of all, like the production, like uh, send a message to my agency and then I went to the casting and yeah, it just kind of clicked and they said, yeah, we want you. And then I got the notification that I got the role. Did you remember any funny stuff from behind the scenes? Um, well, there was this uh, situation, like the scene where young Ulrich and I, uh, we walked down this corridor, like um, in the school. And because he's, let's say, a bit taller than me, um, and I'm like not that tall, so he had to take off his shoes for the scene, so the difference wouldn't be that big. So um, he, uh, the scene is basically him walking in socks down the corridor, but like only because if he w if he would wear his if he were to wear his shoes, he like we would only have his chin and my fringe in the shot, so that would be a bit you know, yeah, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> okay, and did you have maybe um, uh, played some pranks? So other cast members that they set off there? No, we don't do that. That's rude. <laughs> Um, no, we had a great time, like it was really fun, but um, I couldn't remember a prank now. <laughs> and uh, you designed your dress by yourself, so it's some My kind look. of your, um, yeah, it's a typical Ella Lee style and yeah. uh, you made your, um, My necklace as well. your necklace uh, yeah. by yourself. Let's see if I can put it in, it's fuck what? you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how did you get the idea to um, uh, creating such kind of uh, stuff? Well, it just kind of, I don't know, it kind of evolved after, like, I do, I love going to flea markets and, like, secondhand stores, so um, I just kind of pick out the stuff I like and then just throw it together, and that's kind of my look, you know? And if that's cool. Yeah, thank you. If school doesn't work, you know, farmer is always an option. <laughs> <laughs> or if acting doesn't work out, you know, call me. <laughs> okay, did you have any favorite moment as a set of dark? Um, I'd say the scene that like the bus stop scene the is this the apocalypse mm. scene um that was really cool just the set was it was like huge but completely empty and they designed everything like just for the shot and um it was just really and because it was like in the middle of the night and it was freezing cold but it was like really cool just to kind of do that scene Okay, and when you have finished your school, would you like to um, go ahead as an actress or did you have maybe some, some other uh, wishes for your future, like being a butcher or anything else? <laughs> Farmer, <laughs> yeah, duh. No, um, yeah, I definitely want to continue acting, like definitely. And I, right now I think I'm going to study directing and script writing. Maybe, like, as a, I'm not sure if you can actually study that as a combination, but like, Definitely directing and then maybe write the roles for me, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I like, oh, I love collecting props. So are you maybe allowed to take something from the set? Um, I think, did I take clothes? I probably shouldn't say that, but no. <laughs> uh, no, I, no I, I don't think I did. Maybe uh, sometimes I like accidentally take some jewelry or, you know stuff so but, what? <laughs> so uh, they won't miss it no but um it was really nice because at the end of the like after finishing the first season everybody got like a huge picture of themselves oh no actually i did get the posters like the they hung up posters in berlin like the huge ones like they're as big as this window here and um this window that window, big that window. As a comparison, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's huge it's huge okay and um so, yeah, I got to keep, I think, 20 of these huge posters. So if anybody needs one, give me a call. Call it. Yeah. <laughs> so your phone number. Yeah, please. I've got 20 <laughs> pictures of myself in that size. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Great. And when you would have a time machine in real life, so yeah. where would you go and why? Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure where I would go, but I think, although I think Berlin in the 20s, I'd love to see that, like Kudam maybe, because I just finished this book series of Berlin in the 20s and it's really nice and it's really cool and interesting. So and I love the style. So I, I think I'd love to see that. Or the 50s, like maybe New York in the 50s or something. 
that would be that would be awesome okay and um, maybe some uh, last question let me think what what, what, what what can I ask you about uh, dark what is there anything that you can tell us mm -hmm. that you have never ever told before from about the shooting about dark yeah some hmm. secrets some mysteries well I read the script, but it's quite. It's a, it was so. It, it was so confusing, even for me. Like, <laughs> even though, like the first, I watched the first season, like in the second one, but um, I still really couldn't quite understand everything, even though I read the script. So, um, but I think they left a couple of scenes. There was a really nice scene I did, but I think I got the text wrong so many times that they took it out. Um, but. Yeah, not not sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for the very nice interview mm, and for the nice you. memories. Thank and, you. Thank uh, you. Have a great, great, great um, success for the future. Thank you. And hopefully we we'll see you very soon again in international productions. Hopefully. We <laughs> one and only. Elle -elle.